Yeah. What would you say the uh, secondary's biggest strength is to the first few days? Can you? Mean that? Get ready. We gotta have a great D line. Don't get me wrong. We got a lot of guys. We don't the same D line. We don't know who's gonna start. We got a lot of guys who can play. So we're still trying to figure out who the guys gonna be. How much? More improved have you seen the freshman receivers? I know obviously a guy like Cam was there in the spring, but now you bring in Perry and others. How much more dynamic, how much more difficult is it to cover them in the back end? Yeah, knowing that Cam, he's going he's to be a guy, but now they have more guys like Dre, Perry coming, coming in. And now we know the ball's going to be spread around more. Now we got to adjust our defense a little more. Uh, yeah, they, they, got, they got weapons. They have more weapons now that they can throw the ball to. So. We just compete every day. We're trying to be good on good and um, get better. Just tell me about your recruitment out of high school. Excuse me. I said seven days of Oklahoma games. Can I kind of be honest? I mean, I got some. Oh, oh, you quit. Was it tough to leave Texas? I mean, it sounded like Longhorns meant something. Yeah, they did. Um, it was tough, but it was uh, the decision I made that was gonna uh, set me up down the road. Why did you choose Auburn? What stood out about Auburn? First of all, Coach Kelly, um, Auburn's known for his defense, and um, I just, I just feel like I can come here and uh, help guys. Where does he come from? The childhood. Yeah, when I was born, my dad, uh, he just called me a little bit. Curious, have you talked with any of the former Auburn DBs? That, you know, what have you talked to any of I mean, I talked to Simp when I first got here because he's still around. He just chopped it up. But nothing too much. He was just asking me uh, why I wasn't out with the ones at the time. You know? <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just, just a short little conversation. Yeah, I mean, Simple was obviously a guy that, you know, loved being a defensive back in Auburn. I mean, did, did any of them tell you kind of like, you know, what it means or like, I mean, how you picked up? Oh, yeah, I've been here long enough to understand what the standard is. And uh, I'm a guy in the world where I have to show guys the standard, so most definitely. Who do you look up to as a safety? Do you like professional players or guys kind of model your game after? Um, like I said earlier, the safety position is unique, you know. I don't feel like there's no safety that's exactly like another safety. Every safety has its own style, own strengths, own weaknesses. So um, I, I don't feel like I play like anybody. I feel like I play like myself. Um, I like safeties. I like I like the safeties who come down here. You know, contact. I just like smart safeties. But I don't have a favorite safety. Your running mate Keontae is moving back to corner after playing safety last year. How valuable is it for you to be able to have somebody with those reps in that position and a veteran in this program? Oh, definitely valuable. Um, Keontae, he's just another guy out there that, like I said, DB, you, you want, when you're a DB, you want to be relaxed. You want to make everybody around you relax. Keontae is one of the guys who can talk to you, talk to the young guys, and, hey, if I can do this, let's play. Like, there's things like that that he has. He has experience. He has the leadership. Does he lead? Yeah, There's a lot of East Texas guys playing in the SEC now. What is it about with Lufkin playing that grind of a schedule in that part of the country that hardens you guys and allows you to get ready to play at this level? I mean, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a sport that you love. And whoever wants it, you're going to go get it. So, you know, that's why we're in camp right now. We're working. We're working. We're working. We're working. We're working. We're working.